Ilya Averbeck got into the world of figure skating solely thanks to the perseverance of his mother. She brought him to the Avangard Stadium in Perovo so that Ilya could learn to skate, but the coaches did not see a future star in him. After one of the classes, the coach lined everyone up in a row and commanded, you, you, and you, get out of line. You are dismissed as unpromising. I was among them. But mom believed in my perspective. And she became my coach at the yard hockey box. And then one day a man came up to us, it turned out he was the director of the training rink at Lizniki and offered to take me there. Mom caught fire and took her away, Ilya told Rossiskaya Gazeta in an interview. After this happy accident, Averbik got into Natalia Dubinskaya's group, where little Ira Labacheva was already honing her skills. However, there could be no talk about any sympathy at this time. The guys disliked each other. Like any children, we talked a lot, but we didn't like each other. Unlike me, who was far from diligent, Ira was distinguished by great diligence, she was always set as an example. And it annoyed me. We can say that there was a struggle of opposites between us. As a couple, we got up as adults in Natalia Linichik's group. But even before that, we began to develop a different kind of relationship, Averbik recalled. Before Ilya and Ira paired up, they managed to ride with other partners. So Labacheva danced with Ola Ganeshchenko for a year and a half, but he decided to finish with figure skating, so Irina moved to Alexei Pospolov, but there was no long duet with him either. The athlete left for Switzerland and also finished his career quite quickly. Averbik had no problems finding a partner he paired up with Marina Anasina. They have successfully skated together for three seasons, winning the Junior World Championship twice. But suddenly in 1992 Ilya starts skating with Labacheva. There were many guesses why the well-coordinated duet broke up, the first of which, of course, was the love between Ilya and Arena. Success on the ice came to the skaters much later than the feelings that flared up between them. The first joint championship of Russia brought them silver medals, but they failed the world championship, failing to get even into the top 10. The next year, the result only worsened 15th place. And at the Russian championship, the third. But the couple did not give up. I learned to interact with each other both on and off the ice. Everything is somehow intertwined, we did not immediately learn to separate the house and the skating rink. It used to happen that they quarreled on the ice because of unwashed dishes and at home because of an unfulfilled element. But most importantly, they built their family independently, without parental support," Ilya said in an interview with RG. In 1995, the couple went to the USA for a long seven years. The decision was not easy for the skaters, but it became a turning point in their lives. We did not want to leave for America, despite the fact that a powerful domestic landing of figure skaters landed there, in which our coaches Linichik and Karponosov were also there. But soon we realized that we couldn't work without coaches and decided to go after them," Averbeck notes. In America, athletes played a magnificent wedding, which was discussed on both sides of the ocean, and then began to win one award after another into the family piggy bank. The Averbeck, Labacheva pair won four Russian championships, became the third at the World Championships in 2001, and in 2002 thundered all over the world, Olympic silver, the first was the French pair, in which Averbeck's former partner, Marina Anasina, skated. The silver of Salt Lake City at that time was more expensive to us than gold and everything else because we have come to the Olympic season without ever winning either the World Cup or the European Championship. In addition, Ira had a very serious injury, we missed a lot. Of course, we went to the Olympics to fight, knowing full well that our rivals are much stronger than us. We were not going to win, but to show everything we are capable of. With such a mood, we managed to break our rivals. But it was not possible to completely break the judges. Four put us in first place and five in second place, Averbeck told Rossiskaya Gazeta after this silver medal. The pair still managed to prove that they are the best on the planet, ending the 2001 second season with a victory at the World Championship. The following year was the last in the career of figure skaters. They took silver on the world and gold on Europe and moved from the ice to the ground. 
Ilya immediately directed his energy to creating something new in figure skating, namely the ice show, Ice Age, arena completely concentrated on the house, since in 2004 the couple had their first child, son Martin. Who would have thought, but family happiness began to crumble with the appearance of the Ice Age in the life of Irina and Ilya. Labacheva assured that Averbeck became incredibly popular among girls who followed the successful producer in droves, and he allegedly could not resist a temptation. Up to the point that these husbands' fans began to touch not only the life of the spouses, but also to get into the life of their son Martin. A girl approached the child, I will not mention her name, and introduced her son, saying, this is your brother. Then Martin asked me who it was. Labacheva told on the NTV channel in the program Secret for a Million. While Irina was talking about her husband's possible infidelities, Ilya saw the reasons for the inevitable divorce in a completely different way. I cannot comment on Irina's words and discuss that situation. Although I perfectly understand all the emotions experienced by Ira then. Once again I repeat, it was very hard for both her and me, because we are real people, not robots. I was also worried, but I was waiting for time to pass, the grievances would settle down, at the same time, he never renounced his obligations to his family, Averbeck reasoned in an interview with Seven Days magazine. The marriage cracked after 15 years of living together. And a difficult decision was made to divorce. At some point, a very difficult situation developed in our family. Because of this, I was always rushing out of the house, I saw that Ira was suffering with me. In no way do I claim that Irina or I am to blame. The gap is between two people, so both are responsible. The decision to divorce both me and her was hard. But the fact that, after all, after going through this difficult procedure, we breathed a sigh of relief, as if we had received a breath of fresh air, gives us the right to say that we did the right thing, Ilya recalled. After the divorce, the fate of the skaters developed in different ways. Arena lived for several years in a civil marriage with Dmitry Marianov, her partner in the show Ice Age. As she admits, she dreamed of having a second child with him, but this did not happen. The relationship came to naught, and the couple broke up. After that, a black streak came in Arena's life. The relationship with businessman Ivan ended in tragedy. The young man, who was six years younger than the figure skater, died in the entrance of a heart attack. After him, Arena met with a certain Alexander, but his fate was tragic. He fell from the 14th floor. Labacheva fell into a prolonged depression. At that moment, their common son Martin moved to live with his father. A bad situation arose in Ira's life, which affected Martin, and I just took him away," Averbeck commented on the incident in the YouTube show of Nadezhda Sagittarius. After a while, Arena was able to recover from all the shocks and find a new love in the person of ex-figure skater Ivan Tretyakov, with whom they are now training children together at the Labacheva school. Ilya has been devoted to work for a long time, but a few years ago he announced the news that he was dating Elizaveta Arzamasova, an actress, a participant in the show Ice Age. Lisa is 22 years younger than Ilya. Many did not believe in this novel, but the lovers came together to the show Evening Urgent, where they confirmed the seriousness of their relationship. We are together. We are happy. That's it, Averbeck said. In 2020, the couple legalized their relationship, and a year later a son was born in the family.